Hey guys, what is up? So I'm April with All Things Beautiful and I am back today in a very different setting. Um, I am outside. I'm sitting in front of my front doors because I am watching all the boys today and my two and my nephew. And so they wanted to play across the street at the pool house, clubhouse, um, parking lot and there's a lot of construction workers on the back side of that and I didn't feel safe with them out here playing over there without me being outside so I thought they could play and while they were distracted playing then I could do my video so we are outside today and it is so bright so I'm squinting like <laughs> um we'll probably have like a massive headache by the time this is over with but we're going to make the best of it um what I'm going to bring to you today is a couple of long lasting lip colors slash stains. I have two to try today. I had someone, my cousin as a matter of fact, who reached out to me and was like, hey, have you tried anything as far as a lip stain goes? Because, you know, I've been trying to find something and I haven't had any luck, yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, you know, I haven't even thought of that because I, I don't know. I just never even considered a lip stain before so i am going to try to find something a lip stick a lip color lip stain whatever it is that is long lasting and i got two today that are really really good reviews they have a lot of really good reviews one of them i have tried before and i was not a fan but i'm going to try it again because i really love the color so anyway, the rest of my makeup is just going to be my regular makeup that I have um, on hand and we're just going to be focused on lip colors today. So I just have the two to try out because that is one of the things like you just can't try out like a handful of those products in one video. It's going to take a couple for me to try multiple ones, but my lips are so dry. I am drinking a lot of water. I am doing a one gallon of water a day challenge right now on top of like my exercise regimen that I'm doing in an attempt to lose a little bit of weight. I have packed on several pounds over the last couple of months and most of that is due to stopping some medication that I was on and then a lot more of it is to do with eating a lot of sweets and not being as active and just sitting around and so I have like really really pushed myself to exercise more that's what makes me feel beautiful it makes me look my best and feel my best so um, I am doing that and you're gonna see me drinking a lot of water probably throughout this video because I try to meet that one gallon challenge a day and it is rough some days more than others I am a big water drinker I drink mostly water all day every day anyway and so it hasn't been just a huge, huge challenge, but I think mentally, like knowing I have to drink that much every day is what gets to me. So I really usually do pretty good with the first half gallon, and then the second half gallon, I'm just like, oh. So it really, like, I have felt better, and I can tell that I have lost some weight, and I don't know if it'll say that on the scale or not, but I can definitely tell the difference in the way that my stomach looks. And that is where I gained most of my weight, is from my knees to my natural waist. And so I just carry it there. I have really good genes in that area. So um, I am doing that. But anyway, so my mouth is super dry because I normally put on like a lip gloss or my lip mask before I do my videos to kind of keep my mouth and lips hydrated before I do my videos. But I'm not going to do that today because I don't want anything to sit on my lips. It's going to cause the products to shift, to leave. If you put down a product usually first, I feel like you put a another product on top of that, the color really doesn't sink into the lip. And so that's kind of what we're doing today is we're trying to soak into the lip because we want a color that's going to stay all day. So anyway, here goes. Um... I'm just gonna do this Milani eyeshadow primer. I really need to like branch out and try to find a new one, but I have not. It is very, very difficult to find things and products online. 
a lot of places say that they have them and then you order them, you put them in your cart, place the order, and then hours later they will send you a email stating, we don't have this in stock. Or it just doesn't come with your order and then you're like, oh, what am I going to do? So, I don't know, like, it's kind of been a little difficult lately to find things to do the videos on. And I admit that I am struggling right now to try to find some things. But I was thankful that um, my cousin did reach out to me and request, you know, lip stains because that's something like can go along with the makeup, kind of get ready with me deal. And it's not something that you can do like a whole video on, obviously, but it will um, allow me to like just put makeup on and talk to you guys and get ready. And then, you know, trying a new product too, but I am gonna be glad to like get back in the stores and be able to just like walk around and look because I really like to do that. I think that I'm able to find more products that are more conducive to what I'm looking for when I'm able to shop them in the store. Now, I will admit, you know, like online, they have obviously more options to choose from, but it's so difficult to choose like colors and does it have a shimmer to it? Cause y'all know how I am about shimmer, so I don't know, but we got up this morning uh, about eight o'clock my husband left for work and oh what a pretty flower. Is a sunflower that's not a sunflower I can't think of the name of this flower right now but that's so pretty he always brings me flowers thank you Jace you're welcome where do you want me to put it right there. oh I don't think it's gonna stay right there baby oh don't turn it over. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, no. I got it. Okay? You can put it in your shirt. <laughs> I want to put it in my shirt. How about or I lay it right there for right now? in your ear. In my ear? We, maybe we can do that. I'm going to put it in my ear right here. Now okay. Hey, That looks nice. Thank you. And we're going to be facing some of that today, too, because... Yes. He can't stand it. <laughs> like they just want to be part of this video. No, use the chalk that you have. All right. But anyway, so like, I really like to just, you know, walk around the stores and look at the products, pick them up, smell them if I can. I know you guys think I'm probably crazy, but you know, that's just how I roll. But. Then it's pretty difficult for me to see out here because it's so freaking bright. Um, but anyway, so I'll be glad whenever we can actually get back in the store and browse. Now, I will um, run in places like CVS or Walgreens because they're on a smaller scale and they do carry a lot of products and also there's just usually not the number of people in there, but there are in Ulta. Oh my gosh, every time I go to Ulta, the line is so freaking long. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. I'm like, do you people work? <laughs> like, what is going on in here? Are you kids not in school? So I pretty much loathe going in Ulta because of that. Um. I would love to go in and shop, but then I'm always like, you know, gotta stand in this line longer than I've been in here shopping. And it's just kind of super annoying, but anyway, I'm just fussing, I guess. But I'm kind of ready for things to get back to normal, but I want everybody to be safe, and I'm super nervous about that. Like, I live in Mississippi. Um, and we've been on like a stay at home kind of order for the last couple of weeks. And of course, you know, with me being in health care, that's pretty, pretty much thrown out the window for me. But, um, 
you know, no shopping, like Kohl's and places like that have not been open. Only essential businesses. And so today, I think, was the first day that, like, more businesses opened up. And, you know, our governor is saying, like, let's do this slow. And we're going to eventually open up everybody. But we want to do this kind of at a slow rate to keep people from getting so sick you know, at a very rapid rate, and then we run out of like ventilators at the hospital. So, I don't know. I'm so super nervous about it, and I will be quite honest with you. The people that you see out, it's like, what are you doing? Old people, get your butt at the house. Like, you know, I get your board, you know, Welcome to the rest of America right now. But you are the ones that's mostly susceptible to this. So, like, get your butt at home. Also, you know, you just... I went to UPS this morning because I had to take something back. Send something back. So, I went to this UPS store. It's super small. I get out and I go inside. I have my mask on. There's an old guy. I mean, super old guy. Comes in ahead of me. He's got on a mask and gloves. Two workers in there behind the counter. Neither one of them are wearing masks. One lady's talking to a lady that is there, a customer. And the customer is like, not even four feet from the customer service representative. And she just starts coughing and he just like, <coughs> 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 Stop. The pool is blue. Is it? Can I go? No. No, you cannot go. Uh-uh. After the video. Well, I'm doing my video right now, so y'all need to play, okay? After the video. We might go look at it, but we're not getting in today. Hmm. No, that it's water's high. too the water's too cold. Did you hear me? Go play. I'm doing the video. Anyway, she's just coughing, coughing, coughing in her hand. The hand, same hand, that she's going to turn around and touch the door handle with, like, touching the counter with. And y'all, I wanted to lose it. I wanted to lose it. I don't care. I don't care if you have allergies. Like, I don't care if you have a common cold. I don't care if you got asthma or COPD or what. If you are coughing, Please stay your tail at the house because quite honestly, all of us common people do not know the difference. And I don't care. You're coughing. You are coughing with your hand. Okay? As a nurse, we're taught cough in your arm, the bend of your arm, because that's not what you're touching everything with. You touch everything with your hands. Okay? Coughing in her hand. I mean, and the a worker's like backing up. I was just like, oh my God, we're going to get Corona. Corona from the UPS store because I just had to return something. So, people haven't been using common sense. And people are so fired up about unemployment and how much they're getting and why they can't qualify. And then, what's going on with my nose? On the flip side of that, all I hear is, I can't wait for the nail salon and the hair salon to open up. People are pitching a fit about that. I mean, I'm all for those business owners that like need that money to make their businesses grow and be successful. But at the same time, like you're sitting here griping about unemployment and how much you're not getting and fuss, fuss, fuss. And yet it's like, the biggest complaint is that nail salons and hair salons are not open. Priorities, can I say, are just like not in the right places. So, I don't know. I'm just so irritated and frustrated with it. And, you know, I, I can't. I can't fathom it. So, I want everything to open back up and people to get back to living their normal lives, but I want everybody to be healthy and safe too. And I don't think that a lot of people have enough common sense for us to do that. What are you?
are y'all doing? Anyway, they, um, you know, we may see another pandemic just of a greater magnitude start spreading because people are careless, carefree, they don't care, they don't feel like it affects them. Um, they feel like because it's not affecting them that, you know, they don't see any harm in it. They don't know anybody personally that it's going to affect and therefore they don't give a crap about it. So, I don't know. It's just beyond frustrating for me. But, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be is all I know. It's all I can say. Now, I come out here to do my video and these little turkeys are going to the backyard to play <laughs> where it's fenced in mm -mm. I don't even know I don't know what to do with them so we're gonna try to do this just quick I have nowhere to go today I really don't want to do a full makeup look but you know I get to go and then I'm like, oh, that just don't look right. I need some blush or that doesn't look good. I need some eyeshadow on. Well, that eyeshadow's not showing up. And I really need to add a little more color. And here we go. And then I'm full face. I did do my eyebrows and my mascara this morning. Whenever I got up, I have been doing that a little bit because I feel like it just kind of makes me feel human. And... I don't know it's just um, you know something to, to put on and just kind of makes you feel a little bit more pulled together even if you don't have on your full face of makeup and if I'm home every day like why would I like let your skin rest conserve your makeup my neighbors are probably driving by wonder what the heck is she doing So you're gonna hear a lot of traffic that you're not used to hearing. Um, sorry. I'm not gonna pick up all this stuff right now and move it inside. Okay. Moving right along. Like, would y'all like to see me do some videos on exercise or I want to do one on um, tooth whitening. So if y'all know of any really good, like over the counter and expensive tooth whiteners, then please let me know what those are so I can try them out because I do want to give that a try on the videos. That would definitely make us look and feel prettier, have whiter teeth. Y'all hear the ambulance in the background? Do y'all ever like just stop and pray for whoever they're going to help? No, you cannot. Um, I do. When I hear those, I'm just like, God, please be with the workers and whoever they're going to help and, you know, be with their families because you don't know what's going on. Everything looks so different when you're putting it on outside too, y'all. <laughs> It's like. So we, we got up this morning about eight, like I said, and got 
some breakfast. Um, and then we waited for my nephew to get here and we went. They rode their bikes while I jogged and walked around the neighborhood. Um, and then what did we do? When we got back, we went to the UPS store and I really wanted to do like my nails for you guys, but apparently everybody jumped on that bandwagon and there's nothing to buy. So I was just like, oh, well, we'll do the lip stain alone today. Um, I did have the boys with me, but I don't let them get out unless I don't feel like it's a safe environment, you know, for them to see it locked in the car. I don't do that too often because I really don't trust anybody. Boy, you can see these cracks and crevices in my face out here. Ooh, stop. <laughs> it's like, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror at home, but when you go somewhere to dressing, fitting room, dressing room, salon, it's just like, holy mackerel. Did I look like this when I left the house? Cause I shouldn't have gone anywhere. Y'all know how it is. Those mirrors will get you. Put you in your place for sure. Have y'all purchased any of the things that I've spoken about on the videos? Like, let me know. Okay, we got something quacking over there. <laughs> Ducks! We do have like a pond, lake, whatever you want to call it over behind the pool house back in that area and so we have a few ducks that stay over there sometimes but anyway I'm hopping from subject to subject I apologize we went to the school and got their lunches came back and they ate and I ate lunch my husband came home from work for lunch y'all we are putting together a puzzle do y'all do jigsaw puzzles? <sighs> we're putting together a puzzle. It is 2,000 pieces. I don't know what we were thinking when we bought that. Um, clearly we weren't because it is taking us for freaking ever to do this puzzle. And we've already tried to put it together one time when we lived at our old house. And we didn't get very far with it. And wound up like chunking it all back in the box. Well, when we moved into this house, like I put all of our puzzles upstairs in the closet and I had them all like stacked on the floor where well, the boys have gotten in there and played and like some of the pieces have just kind of come out here and there and I've tried to like pick them up as I have found them. I'm like, these stupid little pieces need to go back in this box. Well, we got the box down and we were like putting the puzzle together and I told my husband we we're having a difficult time trying to find like all the edges. And I told him I was like, they're probably like strode upstairs or got put in with some other puzzles or whatever but we finally managed to get the thing put together and as far as the edges go um and have been diligently like working on it every single day but y'all let me tell you what the stupid cat does she gets up there at night when we go to bed, you can hear her. She's sitting in the chairs at the table. So we have two tables in our house. We have one like seven foot long dining table. Um, and then we have a smaller rectangle table. And we normally always eat at the rectangle table, but um, when we started working on this puzzle, we put the puzzle on that table. So then we started eating at the big table. So we don't have to like move stuff all the time or put something over it. 
Well, this crazy cat gets up there every night when we go to bed, you can hear her, gets in the chairs and she puts her paw up on the edge of the table and she rakes those pieces off onto the floor. Not the ones that we've put together, thankfully, but we kind of have them sectioned off, you know, I'm a little OCD, so we have them like by colors and by, everything's got a yellow line in it kind of thing. And she gets up there and rakes, not all of them, but she usually rakes about eight to 10 off in the floor. So the next morning when we get up, puzzle pieces are all under the table. And I don't know why she does that. I've watched her do it. I'm gonna try to video her. Cause I mean, does she like just think she's gonna be putting the puzzle together or something? I don't know. What is she thinking? Does she feel like it's a distraction from her? This cat, y'all. I've talked about her before. She's something else. What kind of personalities do your animals have? Like, it's so funny that they, you know, have their own little personalities and they do things for attention and they do things when they get mad. <laughs> it's so funny. Because it's like God made these creatures and they are just a hoot. I really wish like we knew what they were saying. We need a, like a real life Dr. Doolittle. Is it Dr. Doolittle? I think that's his name. Eddie Murphy? We need somebody like that. All these cuckoo animals. Let's see, what am I gonna do? My garden's coming along pretty good, but we've had some bugs get in it and try to eat my plants. And so, I did go buy some, I guess it's like safe, organic style bug spray to put on them. Cause I'm like, no, not gonna do this to me. And of course, you know, last week everybody in my house just like broke out in poison ivy, Wesley and Monty, and they've all like been to the doctor and got shots and got medicine to take by mouth to try to get rid of it. And I have had to use my bleach to wash sheets and pillowcases and towels and wash rags so much that I'm almost out and you cannot find that anywhere. So I told them I'm like, you cannot get in any more poison ivy. Can't do it. This is killing my back sitting like this. I'm just having to sit like flat on the concrete. I'm about to have to like wiggle around some more cause geez. And then y'all, I bought, where did I, did I, where's my ball? Oh, y'all know my eyebrow pencil I use, so this morning well i noticed the other day like i had to open a new one and it wasn't like really rolling up good and i was like what is wrong with this thing that's the wrong color one um 
Well, anyway, like I bumped it a couple of times and it came, here it is. It came down and I could use it and I've used it for a couple of days and like now it won't roll up. And so I have no idea at this point where the receipt is to send it back because clearly I'm not gonna be able to get any more color out of it. And that's so annoying because, you know, this stuff's not cheap. So you want it to work and last as long as it can. Squeeze every last drop out of it. My neighbor's kids are outside playing. I feel like I have something in my eye. My lips are so dry. And I slam just like missed half my mouth on there. How does that even happen when you're drinking out of something? So if you're interested in like this, you know, gallon water challenge or whatever, let me know because I did post, like, I didn't post. I took a few pictures the first couple of days. <laughs> because I thought about like just doing a whole video on it, but then, I don't know, I didn't, I'll just quit. But I'm on day, I started it on Thursday. So like I'm on day four right now of that. Um, so anyway, if you're interested in it, let me know, or if you wanna know the results. I did take some before pictures, and I can take some after. Um, if you want to know if it's worth doing it, you know, I thought, like, there's no reason not to. I drink water all day, every day anyway, and... Why does this not want to come off? I didn't really know how much I drank. And like, so some days I feel like I hit my quota, even when I wasn't like counting how many glasses I had or how much I was actually drinking. But then there's other days, you know, that I just struggle and that's just the reality of pretty much everything you're gonna do in this life. There's gonna be days when you feel like you can do it and you do it with ease. And then there's days when the struggle is very real. I think I hear those boys in that house. And I wish smudgers come on all eyeliners. But it don't. It's kind of like you can't have the best of both worlds sometimes. And I don't know why that is. But anyway, I've been using this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect. Um, I did it, I used it in the video a couple of weeks ago, and I like it. 
except for it's got a lot of fragrance to it so sometimes that can be a little overwhelming like don't take a deep breath <laughs> just like I just did I'm trying to put it on because you'll breathe that into your lungs and choke to death hey Um, what else? Ooh, wrong brush. Do a little bit of bronzer. And I haven't done my blush yet, so let's just do it a little different today. I should like be in some shorts. I'm not, I'm in some joggers because it is getting pretty warm out here. And I could get my suntan on on my legs while I'm sitting here, but. hit up my eyelashes one more time one more time since I did my mascara first and then I've gone and put eyeshadow on let's just give some more definition to that where the powders falling on them those little boys in the house they must be wanting to take a nap boy I could say nap to them and they would be scattered like You wouldn't believe. All right, y'all. Let's try these lip. Call that dries i don't want to spray i don't think that's waterproof so i don't want to spray my setting spray on it just yet but the one that i have tried before is this maybelline super stay matte ink this is in the color seductress or 65. this a lot of people really like it and i've tried it before i was not fond of it because i felt like it dried my lips out so much but you know, like, got and makeup stuck to my lips. Um, it's just, I don't know. Let's see. It seemed like it just dried down, and it was so chalky and so dry. I'm going to put this on my top lip. Um, so, 
I can immediately like feel it drying, drying down, but I don't know. Whenever I put it on like my, both, both my lips, I don't know, I just felt like my bottom lips had like a raisin and I don't understand why so many products do that, y'all. Y'all hear me talk about that time and time again and we see that over and over again with products that I try. Like, it's not my skin, it's the products. Like, what in the crap is it drying so much for? I see you. I don't, I don't understand that. So anyway, this is the L'Oreal. And this is L'Oreal Paris Lip Color Rouge. Oh God, I can't remember. I'll link it below the actual name of it. I cannot remember. Something lip stain. This is a lip stain, okay? This is in the color Admired. And I saw these um, lip stains in the store. I saw them online. I looked them up online before I went to the store to find them. And they look very bold, but are supposed to be very sheer. So it was real difficult for me like to pick some colors because the colors that I saw online, I was like, that looks, shut the door, very bold, but the actual like sample where they do like the smear or whatever, it didn't look like that. It looked pretty sheer and very pretty and a very pretty color. And so, <laughs> get your face out of this video. Um, I don't know. They look super bold. But this is a weird, like, little foot on it. But anyway, this is in the color Admired. I, is that lipstick? Kinda. I wonder if I have lipstick. Can I go back over there? Not by yourself. I got my dump truck. So, Jace, hush for a minute. So, two totally different colors. <laughs> I thought they would be similar in color, but they not. Anyway, I don't have anywhere to go today. So, lucky me. Wow, it's really bright. So, the color is pretty bright. It does not look like a sheer gloss. <coughs> Bless you. Um, but I look a little clownish. Quit, Jace, for just a second. Um, my top lip feels super dry right now. So, like, I don't know if maybe adding some gloss to that it will help or not with that dryness and I may add some because I don't think I can stand to like let my lips feel like this all day feels like my top lips gonna crack so it needs some hydration on it I'm gonna go do that but let me spray this I love that. and I'll shoot some pictures for you and we'll see how this turns out in several hours. I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is the next day. I'm so sorry about that, but I did post a picture um, last night. I took a picture last night. It was like eight hours later after applying the lipstick and lip stains, whatever you want to call them. And anyway, my lips were still kind of stained. I mean, they were pink colored, but you know, you couldn't really see any product on there. So I just wanted to let you know that it actually probably lasted both of them about five six hours i did eat supper and i oh i'm so shiny right now but um 
I did eat supper and like wipe my mouth pretty aggressively with the napkin. <laughs> so I did notice on my napkin that a lot of the lip color came off with that. So it may have stayed on longer had I not done that. However, I still think for that many hours, like it gave us some pretty good color and coverage for that length of time. And I think that is great compared to like lipsticks that you have to put on, you know, every 30 minutes because you're constantly licking your lips and eating it off and whatever. But I also um, will post pictures. You can see like as soon as I put it on, I did put the gloss on over it and I was drinking out of my Yeti cup and it is transferring on there. But I mean, that was a given. It was fresh. It was gooey. So, you know, I kind of expected that. But anyway, so I'll give both those products a thumbs up. Like I said, the Maybelline one, I think it was, yeah, Maybelline one, I don't really care for it as much because it's so drying to me. But if you don't mind putting a chapstick or a lip gloss on over it and trying to keep that applied throughout the day, then that may be the one for you so anyway sorry for the crazy different looks on the lips and such as that but um i did put on this morning actually the maybelline because it matched my eye color and everything so much better but i did put that on and that was at about 650 this morning and this is what's still on now so I've been drinking continuously out of my drink. I uh, have not had anything to eat yet and it is 1219. So there you have it. It is dry, super dry. But uh, I have been wearing a face mask today too. And um, I had to blot some of it off this morning because I felt like it would just be like transferring inside my face mask while I was at work. and kind of get on my nose and smear it all over the place so I did do that and you'll see in some of my videos like as soon as I put the color on and I like took my sip out of my drink like my lip touched my chin and so you can see some color transfer there but it easily wiped off I wouldn't you know I didn't have a stain that was left all day that I'd walk around on or have to try to cover up with makeup but anyway that is my quick tidbit of review on those lip colors and I hope that that helps you out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please stay tuned and see whatever I can come up with for next week. Talk to y'all later. Bye.